Hey there, it's your dad here again. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I've talked about it a lot, but I've never actually done. And I'm gonna be trying something. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but either way, today we're gonna be talking about anime. And I'm gonna be trying to play some Valorant deathmatch while we're talking about it. Cause I've been playing Valorant a lot. So I'm gonna be trying to play some deathmatch. My shot is not particularly great right now. So what we're gonna be talking about today, my top three favorite anime. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Noodles. But today I'm gonna be talking about my top three favorite anime. So I've talked about it a lot. Um, anime is in a way a passion of mine. Like it's weird to say that anime is a passion, but like I just really enjoy it as a genre. Holy shit, John, you've gotta get this figured out. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I have fucked up so many times trying to figure out how to start this, but I'm just gonna, just gonna go with it. My third favorite anime is Samurai Champloo. So while I'm talking about these, I'm also gonna try to kind of have some sort of like organization into like what I'm saying about it. I'd say that the best thing to me about Samurai Champloo is it's, weirdly enough, it's its soundtrack. Like it's got more than that going for it, but that's kind of what puts it at the top so high on my list because I've watched a lot. But yeah, as I was saying, Samurai Champloo for me has one of the best soundtracks of any anime. Just like that hip hop vibe that it went for, it kind of set it apart from other animes. And so actually one thing that's um, special about Samurai Champloo for me, it was one of the first animes that I watched and it was one of the only animes that I watched on Toonami. Like, but it, I didn't watch it fully on Toonami. So what happened was it was around the time I started playing Mortal Kombat and I was just really discovering myself at that time. Like I had never took the time to like find out what separates me from other people before. When I was figuring out about myself, starting to play Mortal Kombat and getting into martial arts, I, one day I was just like practicing. Before I took martial arts, I just sat in my room and would look up videos and try to do the stuff that I saw. And so I was practicing one night and I had the TV on because I used to never sleep without the TV off. Samurai Champloo came on and before that I never watched Tsunami, it always scared me. Which is sad because I could have you know, I should have learned, known better. I should have gave anime a chance earlier, but I just thought it was weird. I thought everybody would look down on me because around that time, it wasn't as mainstream and normal to watch anime. Um. What was I saying? But yeah, so I started watching Samurai Champloo really early. It was before I even started watching anime. And it, when it came on, like, I wasn't planning on watching it, but I was just sitting there practicing and I saw it on. I was just sitting there practicing my my moves and I saw that it came on and I just went for it. And basically it reminded me of like the old Chinese movies my dad would put on because my dad's, I used to always watch those with him and it gave me a similar feeling. And so it didn't, it wasn't off putting like the rest of anime was for me at the time. But yeah, that's when I started watching it. And I, I was just on some random episode because it was coming on Tsunami and like, it just, it's not like it was in order. And I, I'm pretty sure it was like the third episode though. It wasn't too far in, but it caught my eye. And then after a while, you know, obviously I've talked about it before, but if you didn't know, Tokyo Ghoul was the first thing I actually ever watched. So after Tokyo Ghoul, Samurai Champloo was the next one that I watched because I remembered it. And I remember that that one time I saw it and that I really liked it. And yeah, so that's enough backstory. I hope that I cut that down because I feel like I've been talking a lot about some random shit. Yeah, I love the soundtrack. I love the plot as well. For me, I've always been interested in the animes that aren't like too long and aren't too short. Like anywhere in the 20s is good to me. I don't really like Shonen for the reason they always like drag it out and eventually I just get tired of watching it. I really, I prefer that 20 to 40 episodes. I like to have an ending. What really matters to me is good pacing. How it's like, there's not much story going on, but what makes it so good is that the filler is so well thought out to be filler. 
Like, obviously, filler is not usually just crazy, complex stuff. The other thing that puts it so high on my list would be the pacing. And the plot, it's simple, but artistic. And so, like, that's kind of what the Samurai Temple was to me. It was just artistic. It wasn't complicated and, like, emotional. It was just made me happy when I watched it. It never really played with my emotions too hard. Just barely, you know? But yeah, so that's Samurai Champloo. I don't feel like I covered it well. So the story, I'm gonna go ahead and for anybody who hasn't watched it, which I'm sure that there's a couple of people out there who hasn't, it's basically, it starts off with these two. So one of the characters is a hired killer and one of them is a ronin, so a samurai who has no master. And it's like a strange turn of events that they end up meeting each other and they absolutely despise each other and they're trying to kill each other, but they're both trying to save this person who's the main female lead. And the girl ends up convincing them not to kill each other, even though they hate each other, and asks for their help in finding someone. And she agrees to pay them and basically that's the only reason that it happened. And so it's like kind of interesting that the whole plot, oh, I won. So the entire plot is literally just the two lead male characters and the one female lead character finding this mysterious character. And that's the entire story. And in the end, they find him. And it's that simple. I've always enjoyed the kind of anime that's just like one simple journey. The beginning of the journey to the conclusion. And it doesn't try to stretch it. It just ends. And in th that's always just been beautiful to me. Because that's how I feel a story is supposed to be. It's kind of like, for me, it's like it's more of a story than most shows are. So I definitely talked about that way too much. I don't know if I made any sense, but we'll see. So now we're on to number two. And my second favorite anime is Bleach. And the reason why it's kind of weird is because I said I don't like really long animes and this is fairly Match long. Found. It's like 350 episodes. But one of my friends told me about Bleach. He said that he thinks I would like it and he was right. And it was one of the only animes that were this long that I ended up finishing. And you know, I say finish, I didn't watch the last arc just because I had already been told that it's like the worst thing ever. So I technically haven't finished it, but um, I've watched the main arc and didn't watch the little ending arc that's like one season basically like 30 episodes or something where they just ruined the whole anime but yeah so bleach i'd say the reason that i like bleach is a lot different than the reason i like the other two anime that is on my list the reason i like bleach is more personal than anything i just feel like i relate to the, some of the characters it is very emotional despite you know me saying that i prefer it to not be it just kind of even though it wasn't my type of anime, it still succeeded in doing its job and making me interested and making me watch all the way through. And I just, I love all of the characters. I do feel like they did a lot wrong. So it's hard to really talk this anime up. Like when I'm talking about Samurai Champloo, I can't think of much they did wrong. When I'm talking about the my number one, I can't think of anything it did wrong. But with Bleach, I can tell you all day the shit that it did bad. But still, somehow I loved um there's so many characters and so many like just interesting situations there's not a too much filler and the filler honestly wasn't that bad you some of the bleach filler was okay now one I just I hate the idea of filler arcs filler episodes make sense but filler arcs I watched all the filler and it's just disappointing when you see them like do all of this work killing this one character and then it never shows up again and it really did not work towards the plot at all and especially with bleach okay i'm not i lied <laughs> the filler is awful i don't know how i watched all of it but um so i just sat there and bashed it forever but what things that i can give it i'd say what really did it for me was like the first arc of bleach i don't want to give much away but like the rookie arc basically like, because I know that some people out there watching haven't watched Bleach, so I don't want to give anything away. But the Rukia arc, it's really good. All of the complaints that I've made doesn't really go for the Rukia arc. It's just everything after that slowly starts... Slowly starts to ruin it. I feel so bad. They don't know I'm just like a robot right now. I don't even know what I'm doing. 
As you can see, my shot not great. But yeah, I think my favorite part about Bleach is simply the characters and the backstory to the characters. And like, I've always just been a nerd for the whole like demon, half demon, half human kind of thing. And there's a lot of that in Bleach. So it's, it's just hard for me to talk it up because if I'm being honest with myself, it wasn't the perfect anime, but I think that most of you can understand where I'm coming from when I say I liked it anyway. I didn't care how awful it was. It was still just that good to me, personally. But yeah, so Bleach, I liked it, but I know that it wasn't perfect. So I'm just gonna move on. Bleach is my second favorite. I'm not gonna make up excuses for why. I'm just telling you it's my second favorite. So my first favorite number one anime is something not expected, I feel like, because you know, Samurai Champloo, basic anime, Bleach, basic anime. My first favorite is Code Geass. It is basic, but kind of not, you know? Like, most people's first favorite isn't going to just be some, like, fucking random anime. Like, I don't know, Chivalry of a Felt Knight. That's not going to be your number one. But, so it's obviously going to be one that tried to do well. But yes, Code Geass is my all-time favorite anime. And I'm not going to be playing to talk about this just because I actually want to give it a lot of credit. So, why Code Geass... <laughs> Honestly, for me, and I'm sure that I'm wrong, but to me, I can't see a single thing that it did wrong. A good beginning that hooked me in, full of story, like maybe two episodes of filler in the entire like 44 episode show. So I actually watched all of Code Geass in two days. I spent the entire two days watching. I was way too addicted to that show. So it's full of story and like the ending, man. So what really makes a good anime for me is a good beginning and a good ending. If it's got a good ending, that can make up for a lot. Now, Bleach being my second favorite, obviously we're not talking about that. But yeah, it had this beautiful ending that had me fucked up, like, majorly. Like, talk about a fucking story. Like, it starts off solid, a lot of shit happening. There couldn't have been a better conclusion. I remember the, like, the second to last episode, I was like, the fuck are they gonna do? Like, how are they gonna make this a good ending? And they pulled one out of their pocket, just like, I got a good ending. <laughs> this is a good ending. And like, I'm not crying. It's just, I get, when I talk about something like just so good, I, I, I tear up a little bit. I'm not like sad. I mean, the ending is sad, but like, not really. That was the weird thing. <laughs> when it ended, you would have thought that I would have been sad, but no, I was just like, holy shit, that was something. <laughs> I was like, you tricked me. I thought that this show was about to be like number five and then instantly I was like wow this is my favorite anime of all time and so far nothing has been able to beat it I think what makes it appeal to other people the way it appeals to me is it's all about strategy like usually in like a fighting anime you get to watch the fighting but in this show it's like watching the commander of the fighters so it's like watching the commander of two armies but it's still like dramatic and it's, it's hard for me to explain but like that was so appealing to me it's like watching the king move around his pawns and you know so in just that battle of like is the main character good or bad because like when you see this guy just throwing away pawns and not caring because all he cares about is his goal i mean of course he cares about stuff but like that's what really mattered to him was his goal and he would throw away anything else at that cost even if he loved it it would make the sacrifice and it's kind of like that battle of like is he right for doing this because yeah his cause is good but is what he is doing good and also like without giving too much away like because this happens first episode his power is fucking overpowered as shit but what makes it not overpowered is the fact that his goal is overpowered as shit it's like he doesn't just want to kill bad guys he's, his goal is to like do some crazy ass shit and he's got this one power with a huge like benefit and a huge downfall so like it happens first episode it's not giving too much weight his power is literally if he tells someone to do something like if he looks them in the eye and tells them to do something they have to do it so like that's overpowered as shit like he could just tell somebody to die and they die but his goal is not to kill people and i don't want to give away what 
what his goal is, but his goal's well, it's not. It happens first episode as well. The plot is he gets this power. His goal is to take over Japan. Japan got taken over by another like force. It's called Britannia. It's trying to be Britain, I guess. And his goal is to take over, take Japan back with just this one power. And so obviously he can't just like go up there and he can't look at all of Japan at one time and just tell them follow me because then somebody you know it's not like he can talk to everybody at one time it, it's just having to have this strategy to not fuck this up because if he did one thing wrong it could fuck up his whole plan and it's just so good to me i loved it but yeah code guess it's my favorite i don't know if i made sense of it but now you know my third favorite is samurai champloo my second favorite is bleach my first favorite is code guess i have a lot of other anime that i've watched i could talk about a lot of animes but there are a lot of old ones so if i ever do in the future cover other animes like, that was just kind of like a take on something very personal to me anime i watch it all the time but I, I don't necessarily plan on making videos only on anime so if that's what you were thinking this channel was it's not i just like to share bits and pieces of myself with the world because i mean i've it's just my personality i like telling people about myself but anyways yeah I might in the future make other videos on animes if there is another anime that I just fall in love with. Like, I've talked a lot about anime. I hope that I can cut this down to 15 minutes is the longest that I want it to be, but I've talked a lot. So, if you want more of this kind of thing, me just talking about something that I like, like this video. If you want to see more of me, then subscribe, and it's been your dad here. I'll see you later.